Why does he keep doing that? He like does a pass and then goes back to the driveway and just stands there with the motor running. I'm trying to do a video. No, well, I'm really sorry if the light changes in this because I got no control over the time of the day. I mean, I do, but... <gasps> he turned it off. Bless! <laughs> Welcome back to Movie Monday, my favorite day of the week because I get to talk to you all about movies. Today I'm going to go over what I've been watching and show you my movie collection. Let's get started. I'm sorry if you can hear lawnmower noises in the background, but I waited too long to record this video and my mom's roommate started mowing the lawn, but <laughs> that brings me to my first point of business. You may have noticed that I am in a different location with slightly better lighting. Although, that's uh, hard to talk about considering that the light is almost gone because I waited too long to do this. However, that is because I am on winter break. I'm going to be back here in Des Moines for five weeks getting to relax, watch some movies, watch some TV shows, play some video games, make some videos for you, as well as do some other fun stuff and just like chill around Des Moines for five weeks. It's gonna be a good time. Oh, I don't know why I said it like that. So this week I've been watching a few shows, not as many because we were finishing finals, but this weekend since I've gotten back, my mom and I have got to catch up on some stuff that we have been holding on our DVR for a very long time. Uh, one of which is season five of Grimm. And I watched Grimm through season four and I got kind of bored and I didn't really want to watch it anymore. So we stopped watching it for a while and season five has been sitting on our DVR for like a really long time. My mom didn't even record season six because she's like, Maria doesn't want to watch it. I'm going to wait for her to watch it. So we started watching season five because I didn't really want to watch The Walking Dead quite yet. Um, but it's, it got really good again, like I'm really excited about Grimm and I'm super stoked to see how it ends, like we gotta make sure that we can get um, season 6 somehow. I It's not available on Amazon right now because, I don't know, I guess it's the newest one, but season 5 is on there. Um, but it's really good. If you don't know what Grimm is, it is a TV show on NBC or it was on NBC, it ended after the sixth season, um, about these people called Grimm's, and they're like the people from Grimm's fairy tale, but like they are, their purpose is to kill these people that turn into like animals. They're called Vessin. So it follows Nick Burkhart, who is a Portland detective, as he finds out his whole identity of being a Grimm and seeing all these Vessin and solving crimes based on Vessin crimes. So it's a really good show. If you haven't seen it, you should totally check it out. It is six seasons long. Uh, it f I think the last season aired this year, if not last year. So it's all finished and you can just like binge it. <laughs> I don't know where you, you can find seasons one through five on Amazon Prime. Um, I don't know about season six, but if you have Amazon Prime, binge watch those five seasons and then pay for season six because it's just that good. I've also had some stuff piling up on the DVR for a really long time from this semester since I was not here to watch it and I wanted to record it because I wasn't going to be able to watch it on my computer. The three or four that I've been able to keep up with were um, Midnight Texas, 
The Flash, Supergirl, and Legends of Tomorrow. Those are all really easy to access online. So I've been watching those online. But there are plenty of other things that I haven't been able to watch online and they're just piling up in the DVR and taking up space. So I have to go through those and watch those all so that we can have more space on the DVR to record new things. So I've been watching... What did I watch first? I've been watching Stitchers. And Stitchers is a show on free form and it is about this secret government organization who solves crimes by like hacking into the minds of dead people with their stitcher and it's a really good sci-fi show that it, it has quite mixed reviews but I really like it um, I think the cast is really good but I just watched the season finale so the season is over for this year and the next one will start in the summer I think maybe I think it's a summer show so that's one of the ones that I've been watching and then I also have had like the season finale of Face Off on my DVR for a while um, unfortunately though when I went to watch it this morning it was only part one of the finale and I don't have part two so I don't know what I'm going to do about that, but I'm sure I'll find it somewhere. And I haven't started watching it yet on break so far, but I'm also watching The Walking Dead season 8? Is it 8? Or is it still 7? Huh. Well, I'm on like episode 4 or something of the newest season of The Walking Dead. My mom was waiting to watch it with me. We watched the season finale and like the first four episodes over uh, Thanksgiving break. So we're definitely going to have to keep watching that. And then there are just a bunch of other ones that are going to be on there. But I'll talk about that in the next movie roulette that I post, which will be next week. So now that we've gotten over what I've been watching, let's delve into my DVD collection. I'm going to start with the live action movies and then after that I'm going to move on to the animated movies and I think I'm going to start with... Now a few of these are newer DVDs that I've shown in like previous hauls but a lot of them are ones that I've had for a really long time or that I got while I was growing up. For a while I stopped getting DVDs um, because you know everything is just like streaming now but I'm really into having that collection going on right now especially since you can't find every single movie on Netflix or Hulu or Amazon Prime so I really got back into collecting DVDs now these most of these cases don't have the actual DVDs in them because I put them in a binder which is featured in my um, my opening for Movie Monday and it really saves a lot of space, especially in my dorm room. So the first movie in my collection is the Lizzie McGuire movie. This was one of my favorites growing up. I was really into this movie. I, we didn't have cable for the longest time, so I don't think I actually watched the show that often growing up until I think I saw this movie. And then I started, then we got cable, so I started watching the TV show. Uh, but this was one of my favorite movies. I really loved Hilary Duff. She was my favorite singer. I only listened to female singers and she was one of them. And I still really like this movie. It's fun to watch it and just be nostalgic. Like, I'm pretty sure most teenage girls watched Hilary Duff in the early 2000s on Lizzie McGuire. So, I've had this for a pretty long time. This next movie is one that I got at a thrift store recently. It is Under the Tuscan Sun. This is a really good movie where she gets a divorce and then moves to Tuscany and it's really cute and it's really heartwarming and wholesome and I love this movie. This next one is School of Rock, a classic starring Jack Black. Just an overall good time that is just an essential to have in your collection. I also got this at a thrift store. The next one is Band Slam. This is one of my favorite movies, one of my top 50 favorite movies, which I will put a link to that list down in the description and you can go on the list challenges and you can check off the little boxes for the ones you've seen and compare it to everyone else. Um, 
but I just really love Band Slam. I love the music in it. I love the acting and the story and the filmmaking. It's just a really good movie. We're just on a roll with thrift store movies. The next one is Little Miss Sunshine. I didn't actually see this movie before I bought it, but everyone said it was really good and it actually turned on some people at my school to filmmaking, like they wanted to be a filmmaker because they saw this movie. But it's a really good movie with Steve Carell and Abigail Breslin. I really enjoyed it. Um, I thought it was very funny. I thought it was very cute. And I'm really glad that I bought it. This next one is another Hilary Duff movie. It is a Cinderella story. This is the original a Cinderella story. Not the one with Selena, Selena Gomez. Not any of those other ones. This one is the best. This one is the original. Has a really good soundtrack that I own. And yeah, like, Chad Michael Murray is just, like, really cute. And Hilary Duff is just awesome, so... This one's another Hilary Duff movie. Wow, what a surprise. <laughs> it's like she was my favorite singer or something. Cheaper by the Dozen was with uh, Tom Welling and uh, uh, Steve Martin and Hilary Duff and that chick from, what's it, what's that show? But you know, it's classic again. This next one is also on my top 50 favorite movies and it's also one of my top five favorite movies. This is The Prince and Me. I showed this in a previous thrift haul. Or was it a, yeah, a thrift haul. No, no. This was my Half Price Books movie haul. I'll put that in an iCard up in the corner. Uh, this is one of my favorite movies of all time. Uh, it's just really cute and wholesome. And there, I found out there's a sequel to it that I haven't seen. So I need to get on that. This next movie is one of my favorite comedies. I'm not a big comedy movie person like if a movie has jokes in it that's really awesome but like specific genre of comedy is not like my favorite thing but I really love this movie this is one of my favorite Adam Sandler movies I think that Drew Barrymore is great in it 50 first dates uh, so good <laughs> so next I've got some musicals I really enjoy musicals I it's weird that I don't own more of them but these are all classics so I at least I own them, you know? This first one is Grease. This is my favorite movie musical of all time. I don't know why, I just do. And when I was younger, my I said that my favorite color was yellow because I really loved Sandy's dress. And this DVD is really cool because it comes with like, it's like a collector's edition. So it's got like this cool like T-Bird's leather jacket on it um, with the Grease logo and it's just like a sleeve. <laughs> And it's the, yeah, the Rock and Rydell edition, so yeah, Olivia Newton-John and John Travolta, and it's just, I just love it. It's just timeless and fun. Next we've got Hairspray, another classic musical. I thought the, they did a really good job of adapting the stage musical, because I did see that in the Civic Center as well, so... Yeah, they did a really good job. Everybody is in this movie. It's a good movie. They added a new song in the credits. That's one of my favorite songs from the movie. And yeah, it's just, it's hairspray. How can you go wrong? This last musical is a cult classic that everybody loves. And it was a hit at one of my movie nights freshman year. But this is Rocky Horror Picture Show. I saw it for the first time at, after prom. Me and my friends went to prom together and then afterwards we watched Rocky Horror in my friend's bedroom and they fell asleep really early and then I fell asleep like for five minutes and woke up and it was the end and it's that weird thing twist at the end. If you haven't seen it I won't spoil it for you but it's that weird twist at the end and I'm like what happened? <laughs> but I really enjoy Rocky Horror despite having seen it only like three years ago, but Time Warp's one of my favorite songs, so. <laughs> so next we have my collection of Harry Potter movies. Now originally I had all of the Harry Potter movies, but uh, amongst everything that was going on with my dad and since my parents were divorced, uh, some of them were at his house and some of them were at my mom's house, so I lost a couple of them. So I only have one, two, four, five, and six, but I did have all eight at one point, I promise. So I've got Sorcerer's Stone, Chamber of Secrets, unfortunately I lost my favorite, which is the third, which is Pris Prisoner of Azkaban, uh, and then I got The Goblet of Fire, 
Order of the Phoenix, and the Hot Blood Prince. I am planning on replacing all the ones that I lost, as well as getting Fantastic Beasts. So, just gonna make my uh, DVD collection grow a little more. I feel like I'm spending too much time on this, so these next ones are superhero movies, and they're all kind of grouped together anyways, so... First I got the X-Men ones, I have um, the first three, First Class, Wolverine, Origins Wolverine, and uh, Days of Future Past. I'm missing a few, I know, I'm planning on getting them. X -Men are my, the X-Men are my favorite superhero group, so it's definitely a goal of mine to own all the X-Men movies, including the bad ones, because I like the bad ones too. Hence uh, why I own Origins Wolverine. Then I've got Batman Begins and The Dark Knight. Batman Begins is one of my favorite superhero movies. Uh, I think it's one of the best Batmans we've had. I love Christian Bale as Batman. The whole time we were in Justice League, I was like, but it's not Christian Bale. <laughs> and then I also have The Dark Knight, which I saw for the first time this year. Uh, if I've uploaded Movie Night already, I believe that's the movie I was watching in it. Uh, I'll link that if I did. Then I've got Spider-Man 1 and 2. I don't have 3 because it's bad and I haven't found it at a thrift store yet, but I may or may not buy it. We'll find out. I've also got Fantastic Four. I still haven't seen the reboot and I don't think I'm gonna like it, but I'm probably gonna watch it anyways. And then I have Hulk. I'm pretty sure this is the f earlier one that's really bad. Yeah, this looks like the bad one, but I wanted it anyways, because I'm just, I'm collecting all the superhero movies. Gotta catch them all, am I right? Now I'm gonna show you my fantasy slash sci-fi movies. There are quite a few of them, I'm gonna go through them pretty quickly. Um, first I have Pirates of the Caribbean, I have the first one and the second one, so Curse of the Black Pearl and, is it Dead Man's Chest? Yeah, Dead Man's Chest, so it's the first and the second one. And then I have the first Hobbit. I don't have any of the other ones, but my mom owns all three extended cut collectors edition boxes of Lord of the Rings, which are like, which is like two whole days of movie marathon. I also have the Mortal Instruments City of Bones. I think I saw the movie before I read the book and I really liked it, so my mom got it for me. I still enjoy the movie even though it's terrible. You might notice a theme on my channel of me liking bad movies. It's just a thing I do. It's not that they're good, I just enjoy the, how bad they are. The next one I have is Stardust. I was super excited when I found this at Red Racks. It is one of my favorite movies of all time. And uh, I freaking love... Oh, what's his name? He's not on here. Who the heck? I freaking love Charlie Cox, I love him in this movie, I love him in Deb- or not Deadpool. What's it called? Daredevil! <laughs> Sorry Molly, my cat's sleeping on the bed. Next I have another book adaption which is completely different from the books but I still really enjoyed it and thought it should deserve a sequel. I am number four. And then I have Warm Bodies, best zombie movie ever, just because I don't really like zombie movies all that much. Next I have the first rebooted Star Trek. I also have Hook, Rest in Peace Robin Williams, this movie is fantastic. I also have the remake of The Karate Kid, because I'm trash and I haven't seen the first Karate Kid, but I really enjoyed this one, and it has the only Justin Bieber song I like in it. I also have Sweeney Todd. I am making it a goal to get um, Sleepy Hollow as well. I think these two movies go very well together. Next I have Walt Disney's The Sorcerer's Apprentice, which is based off of Fanta a Fantasia skit, I believe. And there's a whole scene of him mopping in it, and it's great. And I love Nicolas Cage, and I love Jay Bruce Burge, however you say his name. <laughs> and hashtag Team Magic and stuff. I also have Prince of Persia. I've heard that people don't like it, but I really enjoyed this movie. And then, finally, I have Water Horse. Very good movie. Got it at a thrift store or half-price books or something. 
but it's so cute, I highly recommend it. Next I'm going to show you my holiday movies because they're a good transition from live action to animation. So I'm going to start out with Hocus Pocus, one of my favorite Halloween movies of all time. I watch it every year. Gotta love it, it's a classic. I also have Halloween Town and Halloween Town 2. This was a gift from my mom last year for... I was doing a Halloween movie marathon at school. Um, also a classic, I watch it every year. And then I have The Haunted Mansion with Eddie Murphy. I love this movie, I think it's hilarious. I think it's wholesome, great, good time, classic. Watch it every year. And then we have one of my favorite movies growing up, which is The Little Vampire. It has that one kid who was in every single movie in the 2000s, who I'm not remembering his name right now. And then one of my favorite actors, oh, Jonathan Lipnicki, sorry. And one of my favorite actors, Rollo Weeks, I had a huge crush on him as a child, and I still do. And then moving on into the animated movies, we have The Nightmare Before Christmas. How could I not? Sticking with the theme of Halloween, we've got a few Scooby-Doo movies. We've got Scooby-Doo Alien Invaders, which I picked up at Red Racks, Scooby-Doo Legend of the Vampire, Scooby-Doo and the Witch's Ghost, and now here's that lighting change I was talking about. Ooh. And then finally we got Scooby-Doo Zombie Island, my favorite Scooby-Doo movie of all time. Great turning point for them when it finally started getting popular again. And I loved it when I was like two, and I was terrified of it when I was like seven, and now I love it again, so it spans the time, man. <laughs> and we are almost done, I just have one stack left of animated movies. We're gonna start with Monster House, I bought this this year so we could watch it for Halloween. Love this movie, classic. Then I got a couple of Disney movies. First one I have is The Incredibles. I got this for my mom as a Christmas present because it's her favorite Disney movie. And then it's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack and she does not have a Blu-ray player. I do have a Blu-ray player, which is my PS3. So I took the Blu-ray and she gets the DVD. Then we have Meet the Robinsons. We actually pirated this earlier this year because we really wanted to watch it. But then I found it at Red Rex so now I can watch it anytime. Next we got a few DreamWorks movies. The first one is the worst one that I own probably, but it's still a good time. We got Shark Tale, and then we have Kung Fu Panda, and then we've got Ice Age. This is rapid fire because I just, I'm running out of time. Uh, then my favorite movie of all time ever, no comparison, no competition, it's Spirit Sally and the Cimarron, Brian Adams' soundtrack is amazing, I have it memorized, I own it, I've watched this movie several times, it was one of the first movies I saw in theaters, etc, etc. And then, to end it off, we have Shrek. Shrek, Shrek 2, and Shrek the 3rd. Because, why not? So that is my entire movie collection as of right now. It's a lot of movies. I own a lot of movies and I'm not stopping anytime soon. So I'll probably do an update of that at some point in time, maybe at the end of next year. Maybe I'll make it like a yearly update of these are the movies that I added my, to my collection this year. But then I'm also doing hauls and stuff. Eh, whatever. We'll see. We'll see what happens. But I hope this gave you an insight into my movie taste. I will have that link to my 50 favorite movies down in the description, as well as links to my other haul videos for DVDs, because those are always a fun time. Make sure to keep an eye out for them in the future. But that is all I have for you for today. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up to let me know that I'm doing a good job. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, as well as other videos that I post, I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday and you can subscribe down below and then hit the little bell button so you get notified whenever I upload. But for now I hope you all have a great day, week, month, and rest of your year and I will see you on Wednesday. Bye! that we are put on earth to love. My back hurts.
from sitting up straight. 